All right, people, we are back, and with me to is here Shepard. Hello, Shepard. Have, Sh have you witnessed what happened? The, all the things I, that happened. I have been given a recap. It is it is incredible. I have a second son, Shepard. You thank God. I listened to your advice. It was a good advice. You need to fill yourself with passion. The the way to win this game is to have many many children. Uh, and don't I, be chased. I have two ch children, children, so my second son has, um, is called Porai. Uh, Crapster Porai. Crapster Porai. Crapster Porai. And he's, he's going quite well. He is not an imbecile. What is that symbol next to his head? The blood. Uh, it's uh, just that, your bloodline? Yeah, he's my dynasty. So it's basically like Game, Game of Thrones. Have you read Game of Thrones? I have seen the first episode. Or, <laughs> That's it. All right. So there are different houses in Game of Thrones, and there is like House Baratheon, House Lannister, House uh, Stark. You know, like the different yes. houses. Yes. And he, I am House Porai. That's my house. That's it. I am the dynasty, and the game is over when my house is dead. Oh. And, and so you start, and it's just you, right? Yes, it's. I am the only guy in my house. So, uh, at least uh, for this character, I started. The different characters you can start with. Some of them already have like a family going on. I only have one porai going on. I think. That's yeah. kind of a a very uh, epic way to start the game. This is my family tree. The the tree of the house is just fry and crabster at this point. <laughs> and, and and your but your yeah your wife technically isn't involved in it she's not no she's, to she directly. yeah she married into it she's not really she's in the house but she's not uh, she's like um, I don't know I would say uh, Caitlin from Game of Thrones who would married into House Stark but she's actually Tully right um yeah so she married into my house and uh, yeah I'm just hanging out here and this is really wow. You don't have a very high opinion of your wife. I don't like my wife. Doesn't seem that way. I like her enough. I mean, she likes me. To just barely have a child. Well, she, she knows what's going on there. Well, maybe I should send her a gift. Well, because she needs to send you a gift. Is what needs to happen. Yeah, right? uh, I cannot force her to do that. Obviously. So what? What? what there. Are, so so there is some technological advance. I should invest in technological advance. Uh, cost 20. Well, that's cheap. Let's do this. Uh, okay, this is expensive. This is expensive. This is expensive. This is you should increase your cavalry because that's what you specialize in now, huh? Yeah, I probably should increase my cavalry. But I, it's right now, I really want to win this war. This is really the... M and I will need the money, probably. So the first thing I'm going to do, I actually realized that I can actually raise my levies again because I think they all died and I, or they haven't replenished. So I, can, <laughs> so I can raise them anew and then send them in uh, to do good things. So I will actually send them... I don't know where I'm going to send them. I'm going to send them to Chmielno. Then I'm so gonna, yeah. here, here's an interesting topic of conversation. There's going to be a lot of people that are just starting their very first political science class in the <laughs> United States this week, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, in, in Germany, was uh, Machiavelli's The Prince required reading, or have you ever read it before? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, do you follow the advice while playing that game at all? or I, r Refresh me very quickly. So, he, he has many different topics of conversation. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. One that comes to the top of my mind is when leading an army, you should always lead one of your own people as opposed to hiring mercenaries. Although I'm pretty sure I saw you hiring mercenaries. Yeah, because I ran out of my own people. Yeah. Well, he would say at that point, you know, uh, historically what would happen is uh, the, the mercenaries would just take your money, leave, and then you would die. Well, they were having problems with morale. Which is kind of like the problem with, with mercenaries. They're kind of having problems with morale because being, you know, when I was about to die, all the money I paid them won't give them anything. It's meaningless. Yeah. So, um, so the, I had some problems with morale at some point. But, you know, my troops have like full morale. Look at them. The morale is like the little bar next to the troops, like the green bar. Oh, yeah. yeah it's all the way up. They it's all you. the way up, yeah. But on the other hand, the troops that are standing there, I mean, those guys also have full morale. So yeah. everything is going good right now. The right. war is proceeding nicely. I'm at 20% of the war. Right. Uh, 
uh, yeah, I had, there have been some losses. There have been some victories. It's really difficult. Now, how would you say the people view you? He says two things of a king. Um, they should be loved or feared. Preferably both. Um, if one or the other, be feared, but never be hated. Do you feel like your people love you, fear you, or hate you? Uh, I can tell you exactly. So, um, let me see. Revolt risk. Revolt risk is no problem at all. So, do you think it's a combination of the love, fear, or...? So, no, the people love me, really. Um, the only problem is that my opinions of the vassals. I have still one enemy of the state, which is this guy here, uh, who, who is Duke Vost, who already killed my spy master. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, I remember this guy. Yeah, I, but I, have a, I had a plot going on against him, but it disappeared now. Well, there's, uh, there's one thing he says about making enemies... He yes. says uh, you should never, you should never I injure an enemy and then leave. You should you should really kill them, uh, cripple them entirely, destroy them. Uh, uh, don't injure them and then give them a chance to come back because they will come back to fight you. I see. I'm gonna. That's that's a good good tip. So I'm gonna see at my vest. I have my vessels. My vessels. Uh... Some of them don't like me. Uh, is, is this a, a little bit on a, on a problematic side with my vassals right now? I must admit, but I'm thinking of removing the title from him. He really hates me, so the, the chance is good that he will revolt. And then I can crush him, because he has, like, no troop whatsoever. Good. That's what, that's what you want to crush your enemies. Crush them. Oh, wow. He says, if, and he says uh, another interesting thing, and I don't know how that would work in a game like this, is if you're going to do like taxation or bad things to your peasants, like get them all overdone at once, but don't don't let them carry out over a long period of time, because they'll grow wary. We're going to revoke the title from him. He really hurts me at this point, because he look he hasn't even provided any levies and anything. May you live in harmony and contentment. I humbly accept your decision. <gasps> Uh-oh. What is happening? Wait a minute, have you seen this? It's weird. Why is this stuff going... What is going on here? I'm, I'm re-sieging everything? What? You have got to re reassemble. I don't even know what happened here. Maybe that has something to do with revoking that guy's title. But now the new vassal there will be should be loyal to you, right? Wait a minute, that's crazy. Wait a minute, uh, can I can I click on this? Yes. So apparently they recovered, even though I was there all the time. All right, whatever, guys. This game is crazy. I just don't understand what's going on. So, uh, so, but I can move my um, my dude now, my uh, spy master. Who is go what's going on? Oh, so I control Lower Silesia now. Interesting. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you should. You uh, should. I, I would assume they would institute somebody loyal to you, right? Yeah, so my vessels... Uh, so some of my vessels are having troubles with me right now, I believe. Yeah. It's time for a feast. It's time for a feast, indeed. Especially Kazimierz Piast is, is really somebody I really want to get on a good side of. Uh, I'm thinking of actually ending the war here. Well, have you been able to actually take any territory, or how does that work it's, up there? I, I don't even know. I mean, it's a, it's a holy war. I think if I win, then I will get all of the of of the stuff. Well, it seems like you're pretty well committed in there. All right, let's continue. I believe in your holy war. Holy War go goes great. All right, victory. It is a little bit confusing, but anyway, yeah. Well, I'm going to wait until the last guy gets in here, all right. And then I'm going to combine everything to one huge army, as always. Wait a minute, Chmielno... Who controls Chmielno? Who... Is that so the problem? Okay, so the... I'm fighting against Duchy of Liv Livovnia. This is Duchy of Livovnia. So I'm actually sieging them, technically, right? 
It would seem that way. But there is no sieging going on here. I don't even know how to how to end this. Where is he based out of? That exact province, or is it over in God God's snacks? God snacks. God snacks. God snacks. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Let me let me fine tune the. Oh, okay. So so this guy. I'm fine tuning on love. Oh, oh, that's that's one of the guys. All right. Um, I don't even know what to do now. All right, this guy. What auto saving? All right. Oh, crazy stuff. So this guy is siege, trying to siege Kuyave, but he won't succeed. I'm gonna go to Marineburg, I guess. They're spilling out to your land. This is crazy. I don't even know what to do now. Sieging? Yes, I'm sieging. What stuff is happening? Children lack a guardian. All right, I'm gonna fry needs a guardian, guys. <laughs> I don't even know. What Send him to the church. I know who I will. My spy master will will be the guardian. That's not suspicious. Not at all. Educate child. Uh, who's my spy master? Steward, bishop, mayor, courtier, courtier, bishop, bishop, courtier, bishop, uh, duke, duke. If this were a novel or a movie, the spy master would get comfortable with him being an imbecile and start spilling all his spy plans in front of him. Yeah. And he would just start repeating certain key words around people and they would get suspicious. Wait a minute, I, I don't, I don't see, oh, there is a spy master, he will be my... Uh, he will love me more for this. I actually may be sending it to one of my vessels, actually, because the vessels will, um, are, some of the vessels are having problems with me. Like, for example, this guy, this poncha guy. Um, Gerold will be the, the, the guy. All right, Gerold. You are some, some from Charkov, whatever. He will be uh, educating my child. Educate child. Gerald, okay, I'm gonna first select the child. Uh, Fry. Fry don't doesn't like me that much because I try to assassinate him. <laughs> How does he know? Gerald doesn't want to. Yeah. Gerald, what? I don't even. Doesn't. Huh. Nobody wants to be the guardian of the child, or. I. I. Uh, he doesn't want to for some reason. Ah. Anyway, I'm just gonna send him to spy master. Um. Again, oh man, this interface is a little bit confusing. Have you seen, have you noticed this? Yeah, I've noticed. It seems difficult. It is difficult. All right, once again, a little, can I sort by my opinion? Yes. So I will give it to the guy who hates me most. He's a courtier, prince, bishop. All right. He will like me more for this. And also, like sending uh, Fry to the Prince Bishop might actually improve, uh, might, might actually prepare Fry for his li eventual life as a bishop. Yeah, that's a, a great, great call. All right, I'm sieging Marienburg. What am I sieging? I'm sieging Brunsburg. Oh, okay, that's, that's this one. Tomasz Kowalczy claims that he would be better marshal than Siemoszur. Is that really true? Is that really true? Sometimes people claim this, but it's not always true. He has 12. This guy has... 13. He is my <laughs> new marshal. He is marginally better. Marginally better. Improving one step at a time. He's got a cool mustache. Yeah, he's a pole, man. Poles love the mustache. What happened to you? You're like the anti-mustache. This is so crazy. Okay, my prisoner, who is one of those bad guys, is... Um, I'm actually trying... Maybe we'll... Um, 
What do I will do? I try to maybe ransom him. Huh. No interest. All right. Let him rot. I'm gonna let him rot. The, the, the guys don't want to have them, him back, so I, why should I release this guy from my prison? <laughs> give me a reason. At, at least give me some money. I mean, 10 zloty is not that much money, guys. That's usually the amount. Oh, they're sieging something. Chmielno. <gasps> it's actually succeeding. I will be finished with Marienburg before they finish with Chmielno. Yes! So these guys are finished here. I'm gonna move over to Chmielno and, and defeat them. Oh, they're those. Have you seen those guys? Look at them. I'm looking at them. Guys are dying left and right. Okay, what's happening? Uh, open council position. Appoint steward. Uh, stewardship. Spitko. Oh, Spitko again. Spitko was a cool guy. Okay, uh, I have to reappoint the guy, so he will collect coins. What is, is my chancellor doing right, right now? He's fabricating claim. Continue. Spymaster is lower. That's that's not good place to to, uh, to lower to assassinate people. Um, let me see. Uh, what, am I hated somewhere? No. Um, vicious rumor spread. Okay, I'm gonna go to Krakow because the next thing I'm gonna do is go is being a king. I hope so. Oh gosh, look at this! Look at this! Hey, there was a successful crusade for Jerusalem, guys. Crusade against Jerusalem? Yeah. The Blessed Virgin has granted Duke Otto II of Bavaria victory in this crusade for Jerusalem against Caliph al-Musarir. Pope Mark II has called for a month of celebration across the whole Christian world. All right. It will come to battle, guys. It will come to the epic battle. Oh, yeah, I'm crushing them. Look at this. I'm crushing, I'm just crushing them. My leash, my work at all. Oh, I have fabricated claim on Kalish. Use it. This cost a lot of money. It was worth it. This was worth it, yes. And also this guy is free now to, to send him to somewhere else. Uh, he can improve diplomatic relations certainly. With uh, I think improving diplomatic relations with my with my own vassals is important now because they have been a little bit shaken up by this whole thing. Like uh, who is Gerold, for example, is not really a happy camper. I will start it by opinion, so I will get the. Okay, so Kazimierz Piast. Where is he at? At he is. In Opola right now. Uh, I will send my guy to improve relationships with him. He's just a kid, but nevertheless. <laughs> Bring him some candy. Why is this telling me that I should advance? This is crazy. I guess I could spend like 60. I really need to spend something. I don't really have a lot of money. You're always really efficient, though. Better to spend the money than just let it sit there not doing anything. It's yeah. not like it gains interest or anything man, like that. that. You're, you're spoken like a true banker, man. It's really a StarCraft strategy. Yeah. Like, um, what, what, what's the name for this again? Um, opportunity cost? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, there's no opportunity cost of it just sitting there. Yeah. I mean, the opportunity cost is spending it on one thing versus another, but the worst thing to do is not spend it at all. I've done nothing, I've made no choice. This is a very prolonged war. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how you haven't won yet. 
Oh gosh. And you gotta get guys in every single area and just c keep stomping out the people that show up. Yeah, I'm having like these little tiny victories. Oh look, I'm, I'm gonna get squashed now. Alright, this is going to be tr tricky to, to survive. Um, maybe I should retreat now? To Hmielno or something? And then I will get... Uh, what can I do? Military. More levies! Oh, this is not much at all. I, okay, I will get the vessel levies as well. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is also not very much. Alright. Oh, everybody goes to Hmielno. I'm really scraping at the bottom of the barrel here. I don't know, people are going to start getting upset because there's going to be nobody left in the country. Oh no, they're following me, look at this. Oh no... Oh no, my people are dying, Shepard, my people are dying. Well, once your, once your reserves come up, you should be okay. Why does it take so long sometimes? This is crazy. Oh, were they completely defeated? Oh no, they, they merged together. Alright, uh, Mergen. Oh, yeah, these, these look nice. Alright, let's continue. Ah, now they're fleeing. Yeah, I think it'd be a good idea to get Fry out there, have him the first soldier. I shoot should, him out of the catapult. You're right. You should. You should get him in there. But that he will actually like decrease the chance of me winning. Oh, we don't want that. Man, this is a tough fight here. So right is now. the issue is that they keep getting um, reinforcements from the people that you're having the holy war against? Yeah. Well, also, of course, I am getting. All I'm also like constantly getting reinforcements. It's like the. War of attrition. Oh gosh, I have to hire more mercenaries. Ugh. It's all over this little scrap of land. Yeah, I know, right? It's like a very, very bitter war. I'm getting more mercenaries in here. I'm always so. Uh, I always have a hard time in games like Civilization and like this on, on keeping these wars going. I get frustrated and I yeah. just either beat them outright or. or I'm, I'm thinking. It. I'm thinking. Actually, is ending the war somehow. I would like to offer peace. Like this won't won't work. But I could offer white peace. That's, could you offer them? Demand a country for them in exchange for pre for peace. Um, no, I, there's no no. I can enforce the demand, so I can like say like, guys, give me what I wanted, and and I I won't stop attack. I I will stop attacking you. Yes, can you do that? Mm, For like Canada? No, or? because the problem is what I wanted is the Holy War, which is basically like uh, you will all gonna die. <laughs> That's not good. So there's no 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 easy way out of this. Well, those mercenaries are looking pretty tough, though. Yeah, they're they're pretty good. The siege is going on. All right, combining the armies. Let us see if this works. So if you successfully siege that area, you might be able to, to, to take the king, I guess? Oh, there, yeah. In, in, in the middle of all this, uh, there's a grand tournament. What's... I will attempt a grand tournament, guys. There's a siege going on. Some people have been released from a dungeon. Okay, hunger during the thing. Okay, people don't want to have the seniority succession thing. This is crazy stuff, guys. How old am I? I have to keep keep an eye on my age. Okay, I'm still all right. My wife can probably cannot cannot bear any children anymore. Yeah, she won't have any. So these are my two sons. This this is the, the thing I have to work with. How do you know she can't bear children anymore just because of her age? I, I read up that at 45 there, there are no children anymore. That's it. Well, she she gave you a Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Yeah. So I guess, you know, what else could you ask for? And you, she already had three children when you met her, so to, to survive five birthings of children in, in that day and age is pretty remarkable. Did she ever have any daughters or only boys? Uh, she is, I don't know, wow, that's, that's a good question. 
She had only boys throughout the entire life. Wow. I'm thinking about doing some kind of intrigue. What does the game suggest to me? Uh, fabricate on a duchy of Cuyava. But I already have Cuyava, don't, don't I? Yeah. Oh, the duchy. Uh, but I already have this. I don't even really, really know, need this. Can I declare war now? I, because the, the rules have changed. Because they, there was some kind of limited authority law, law or something. So I'm not even sure if I can see... Oh, yes. So is this the new is this the new king? No, that's some dude just there, right, just sitting there, and I'm gonna get him eventually. Um, and then, oh gosh, where do we even have claims on? I don't even know, man. Uh, give me something. Uh, where is the claims? Diplomacy. Diplomatic relations. Uh, what what kind of claim Poland? It depends the post leash. All right, so that's not not. Okay, I have here a claim on this. That's my only perspective right now. But I first need to get this war ended. Man, Holy Wars takes ages. It's a... Yeah, and it's like, how do you even convert a Holy War into new land? It's hard. <sighs> this is really tough, guys. This is really tough. I don't even know. Okay, so it's the siege is going on. It's It's at 46%. Thankfully, the the Pope has been paying me so much money. Well, it's a good thing you got on his good side. Yeah, I he really liked the fact. Oh, probably because of the Holy War, right? He's a big fan of that. <gasps> oh no! I'm fry. I'm fry. Am I? No, I'm fry. Oh, you died? I died. I'm Fry, guys. Oh, man. Oh, how the tides have turned. Oh, boy. How do you kill yourself? Oh, this is really I bad. I, I died a natural death. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Stop. We have to stop. Oh, gosh. So what do I even own now? I have no claims. I have no claims. What do I own? I have I own this. I own this. Uh, what do I own? All right, so I own I own this part. And so you kind of have to like start over that's... again each time you die. Yes, but usually if you do it right, you usually have. Um, Usually, like you inherit all of the titles from your from your other character, but now because of this stupid Gavil Gavilkin succession, Fry has some stuff, and some stuff belongs to Crapster. You should try and engage Crapster in a war and lose. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Who's my? Yeah, Crapster is going to inherit if I die. How do I die? I want to kill myself, basically. Uh, start a war, you can't win. Well, I'm pff, I'm on my way doing this actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm gonna actually uh, yeah I'm gonna actually put myself. Can I put myself as the leader of the? This is going really really bad, guys. This is so bad. It's this about is... to go really really good. Is this is the be... worst yeah. possible scenario. So once Fry is dead. The gap due to the Gavel King succession, you'll have claim to everything you had before Christian died, right? I should, yes, because this is my only heir. I don't even know how to do this. New unit, disband unit, army of Tomash. Wait a minute, Tomash? Who is Tomash? Uh, is that the right army even? Is, I don't even know if I have control over this. Yes, I have. Uh. Oh gosh, guys, let's just continue the war. I just really need to get the war done here. 
This is depressing. So what happened here? We can call in allies. All oh, right. Uh, call to arms. What an exciting twist! Yeah, in an already exciting game. We're gonna ask uh, the Crabster to join in our our fight against against uh, these guys. Uh, so what religion are they? Are they Christian? They're pagans. That's why we are attacking them. Oh, I see. That's why it's a holy war. Oh man, this is going bad. I, I feel like I'm like the control is slipping away from me. Well, you're an imbecile. Yeah. Like the, also the morale of the troops is really low because I'm an imbecile. And they don't see that like this this thing will ever end actually, and I agree. Your brother is such a liar. Your wisdom is legendary. Yeah. Legendarily low. It's 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 like they're insulting me all the time. <laughs> no. When he grows up to be an actual king and we see his portrait, is he going to be like drooling or like all misshapen and stuff because he's an imbecile? Or? Uh, are we going to find out? Barrack vessels, there we go. <sighs> Alright, but we still have a huge army going on here and sieging uh, Krulovets. It's so, it's so interesting that like if you fight your brother and lose, you've won. Yeah. If he takes you, I mean, you know, can you ensure that he'll imprison you and execute you if you, like, injure it's, him enough? It's difficult to, to, su to commit suicide. You can commit suicide if you get, like, the depressed um, quality. I'm fry now. Oh, man, this is... I was almost there. I, the, the, the victory was in my grasp. I'm pretty sure I would have done it if I... That was a mistake. This holy war was a mistake. Because this is not going anywhere. And I just... Can you just, just offer the white piece and then, then focus on the home front, I guess. The white pieces I will walk away and all of this has been for naught. Well, how are you ever going to win? Well, I'm at 75% right now. It's going not bad. 75% control of the country? Let me see. Still, well, seventy-five. The war score is seventy-five percent right now. Oh, your your troops' morale is actually pretty high. So one thing I can do is I can actually give all of my stuff to over to uh, to Crabster. I can actually give him stuff. It's a good idea. Let, let's just, just continue this, and then I can give you all my stuff, and then somehow I will try to commit suicide somehow. This will be fun! <laughs> I will commit suicide! What is going in here? Can you single-handedly lead a, an army into battle? Can you, can you force yourself to do that? I don't know. I, usually I, I could select who is like, leading the army, but there is like, no really, not really a reason, a way to do this. Go to location. Yeah, I am at the location. I don't know how to do this. No, I don't know. Um, I guess I can't. Maybe it's because I haven't raised this army? I don't know. Right, maybe because it's a mercenary. It's part that, that, that could be also the problem. Or maybe I'm not because I'm not fighting, I'm not sure. Or maybe you have to be in the actual province the person's in. Uh, the siege lengthens. Ugh. Well, they oh. find a reserve of food? Uh, no, but it's, but it's actually siege of the uh, one of the lesser holdings. It's not the, the main holding. I'm sieging actually Romova now, which is... Which is oh, it's the final holding. Nice. Uh, and when we're done with this, I'm we gonna siege this guy, and then we will be done. So you might actually be able to turn this into a victory with an imbecile son. Oh man, that would be that would be a, an achievement. So this is, has been sieged thoroughly, this is sieged thoroughly, this is sieged thoroughly. Gosh, guys. Oh, I, oh, 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 I'm at 100% now. I can offer peace. 
Holy crap! I have acquired I have acquired all of Prussia. Oh, I'm so unprepared. I'm completely unprepared for this. Long live Fry! No, Fry, you imbecile! You are way too successful! Oh no! <laughs> Chain mail and a diaper. Look at this! I can, with my, with my abilities, I can control four. Four lands. I have 14 lands. You were more successful than your father ever was. People hate me because I control way too much. Yeah, you need to give that over to your brother. Oh gosh, this is this is this is crazy stuff. That brain power can't handle it. I okay, crapster. Is that crapster? No, that's Kazimierz. I the kids all always look the same. I have to really so this is crapster. Um, um, the crapster is being doing some weird stuff. Can I give him stuff? I don't even know what to do. Gosh, look at this. This is crazy. Oh, I'm just completely unable to do anything. Okay, so Kingdom of Poland. Uh, wh where are my titles? I'm Fry. I'm fry. Oh gosh! Look at how many titles I have. Okay, I have Duchy of Greater Poland. This is this is the important thing. Can I this? Can I? I can just. I could. No, I cannot destroy this. But can I give this to somebody else? How do I do this even? Uh, where's Fry? I'm gonna do diplomacy with Fry. Oh uh, no, with Crapster. This is Crapster. Crapster is going to be an important guy, so I'm going to Facebook him. Crapster. Um, diplomacy. Transfer vessel-edge. Select a vessel to transfer to Crapster. Alright. Oh, I can... Oh. I can only give them, him vessels. I cannot give him titles. Interesting. I'm looking for my Crusader Kings 2 uh, key, because I just bought the game. You bought it I, just? I, think, yeah. I thought you already had it. Nope, I don't think so. I'm going to give him all of the vassals. I thought I paid more than the average. That happened. How much did you pay? 581. Ooh. All right, I'm. Everybody's getting on, getting to to, to Crabster. Oh, there we go. There it is. But why do I still have fourteen holdings? I guess I will have to get the give people holdings and then transfer those people to to Crabster. <laughs> this is the best. Thing ever. Th this is incredible. How much? Do you have any idea how much Crapster can handle? You're not going to like hamstring him by giving him too much at once, are you? All right. I don't know. Yeah, I will hamstring him, but I hope that I, I will handle this. All right. So uh, I, I guess she. Uh, her, I'm going to give my mother titles. I cannot grant her titles. Why? She cannot hold any titles. All right. Mm. Who is the best guy in my court? I don't have any vassals anymore. That's great. Wait, wait a minute. Maybe... Why do I still have 14? What do I even own anymore? Uh, Mielno? What? I don't even know what's happening. Uh, this is so confusing. All right, I have this. 
This is the Duchy of Greater Poland, and this is huge. What about Dijour? Can I create like a Dijour title here? Brownsburg, Kingdom of Lit. I am. Oh, this belongs to. Lit what? Duchy of Prussia. Create this title. Yes. I am now, uh, I have created a douche of, of Prussia and then I will then just give you this douche of Prussia to somebody. To one of guys of my court. I would love to give it to, to a girl. And then you can marry her. Tomas is also a cool guy. Tomas Tomas was with me all along. Tomas Tomas will get this. Uh, land the title. Uh, he will become... Oh, he cannot get douchey. He can only get counties. I cannot create a duke, interesting. Um, Alright, so I, I, I have to be careful because I'm not allowed to give too many people a title at the same time because they will get too powerful. So I have to spread the titles a little bit. I have only... I have like only women in my court. Nice. This guy has claims and he has... What claims? Bohemia and Znoshno. Alright, this guy will be cool. Uh, pause 9. He will get Kalish. Um... What? Who else? Uh, Yaromar. Was that the guy? Just now? No, that was another guy. I'm gonna give him a title. Oh man, everybody gets a title. It's like, it's like, it's like, uh, uh what's this? Uh, like Oprah. You get a title! You get a title! Everybody gets a title! And some of the people hate me. Ludwig, is that all right? He will get a title. Oh man, it's not good to give people titles who really hate me that much. Yeah, it's dangerous. Well, well, but but they dangerous. love me a lot more after I give them the title. And, I, and then I will move them to, to, to... Can I even do this? I hope I can do this. I can give Crabster all this stuff. Transform Wrestledge. Yes. Yes, I can. I think somebody's asking if there'll be a Monster Hunter podcast this weekend. I think we're just going to do this for four hours straight. Yeah. Occasionally we'll have like a, a Tigrex flash in the screen and that'll be it. Rawr, we are monsters, rawr. I cannot give Krabster the titles, I have to, because he's not, my, um, he's not in my court, he's a different court. Um, but I can, give him, um, I can give him people, I can transfer vessels to him. And that's what I give him, I'm giving titles to vessels, and then I'm transferring the vessels to him. So they're going to love you... Is that love going to transfer to him when you die, or is he just going to have all these really powerful vassals? I really don't know how they feel about him. I just hope that he will just find it. They will. He will, you know, figure it out. <laughs> figure it out, brother. I'm really dumb, but even you can figure this one out. All right. I don't have actually any male guys on here anymore, and I cannot give her the titles. Yeah, she, because women cannot give any uh, cannot receive any titles. Can I start like a faction? No, I can't. What? Why? Oh, there are no possible factions. All right, so I actually have to invite more 
nobles to my court. Sweet. As the son of your mother, you can arrange her a new marriage with a new man? Yeah. That's creepy. Come on, Mom. Kiss him. Kiss him. Kiss. All right, I invited a couple of nobles. They don't like me. <laughs> Why do they hate me so much? Because you're... Because you're an imbecile. I'm, because I'm an imbecile, I'm crazy. What are your other traits? Because of my, all of my horrible pr qualities. Uh, they, they, because of all of this. Alright, so I, I will give him titles in return. So are you, are you just an imbecile, or are there other things that go along with this total package of yours? I don't even know, man. Oh, wait a minute, I, I don't... Oh, this is so complicated. Um... There we go, courts. Uh, find some guy. Okay, this guy. Uh, you will also get a title. Uh, land a title. Uh, court. County of this. Getting down on them is in size. Uh, this guy doesn't have a title. He has a cool beard. That, that's enough for a title. Would it would be better when you become an imbecile in the game if all the like letters got misspelled and all the borders got crayon drawings and stuff like that. I, I, that would be really funny, yeah. That's that, but sadly that game is not as as funny. Oh no, I, it, it's the worst case scenario. Oh man, is that Elbing? I thought I thought that was Marienburg. Oh hello. Oh. I don't know how to turn that speaker off. You can all just enjoy that song. Uh, all right, I guess I don't own any county anymore, and I still have seven. What? Why? Do I own like some kind of weird things? Oh, because I own the cities. I have to also give the cities to. But I cities uh, is easier to to create the thing. I think I can like go here and like create a new vessel. Right, create a new vessel. Alright, okay, I'm down to four now. Hopefully some of you recognize that song. Some of you. Uh. Oh, this is so complicated, guys. Uh, I don't even know why, why I have to do this stuff. Alright, so everybody has now their own regent. And now I can transfer everything to, to Crabster. Oh, I see. So now each land has a region, and each region is going to be to Crabster, and now you <laughs> lead yourself to glorious battle. Yeah, I will now give everything to Crabster. Uh, transfer vest. And then I'm going to be the hugest jerk in the world. They kind of like me now. Yeah, you gave them lands and you sent them to somebody that's not drooling. But the problem is, uh, these are all people, so they will actually not... It will be very difficult to get them rid of them eventually. Oh, if they start, if any of them start being uppity? Yeah. Oh, you'll be oh okay. man, we just created a horrible, horrible situation. Yeah, Crafter will be fine. All right, I got. So, what's your plans for suicide? I don't know, man. We're gonna we're gonna have to figure this out. We're gonna find out in the next episode because we have to make a, a small break because this just th this these events just completely. I don't even know, man. Suicide is the only option. Oh, I still own Lower Silesia and Upper Silesia. What's going on here? I know. No, is that me? No, that's Crabster. All right. Yeah, I I will have to figure it out, guys. We're gonna make a short break, and we'll be back right right back.